Oh, I'd say for about the last five or six weeks, we've had an unusually sustained autumn cool down here in Tampa. So a lot of my annual flowers have taken off. And what I want to focus on today is the fact that my Duchesse de Brabant rose is really, really flourishing. Let's see if I can get closer here. Because of the sustained drought, I planted her several years ago in a modified um, tree pot where I had simply plugged the openings with used grocery bags to restrict the drainage uh, because we are now perpetually dry down here in South Tampa. Uh, I've treated her to some recent deep waterings because we've had, I think, literally no rain for six weeks now. It's a really bizarre, what they're calling a mini drought. Also, you'll notice to the left of her, this Mexican sunflower is doing really well and offering a nice color contrast. Oh, here's a bee. I'd forgotten how much I like Tithonia. This is a beautiful plant and it's setting seeds. Back to Duchesse. Uh, when I was living in Denver, I used to ache whenever I would smell this rose growing under glass in my backyard there in Denver. I had a, a double paned hot frames I'd made from scavenged patio doors and I used to say, when I move to Florida someday, I'm going to have Duchesse. I lost two of them again to these issues of drought and severe water restrictions. So this plant now I think is four years old. It's clearly happy and established. Let's come around this side. It might be a bit of a glare though. I've always loved the translucency of the petals and I love that complex smell which has always reminded me of a blend of citrus and hardwood smoke and a little touch of old-fashioned rose plus of course uh, the expected tea scent uh, that's reminiscent of a, of a tea bag. I'm going to be taking cuttings off of this rose again and try uh, to see if I can propagate them to for sale because it is a reliable rose here as long as it's in some form of restricted drainage container. Uh, I don't know of any of them growing in Tampa unless they receive incredible amounts of water from a drip system. Just wanted to share with folks the fact that we're getting nice and colorful here in the autumn cool down. Duchesse is happy and behind her Rosa Bracteata is going into an outrageously aggressive autumn growth phase. I'm going to have to cut her back. Here's a bloom on Bracteata which seems to really be favored by wild species bees. What I wish would happen, and I'm not going to hold my breath, is that we could have a really wet winter this year because we are we literally got no tropical storms this year, we got no hurricanes, and now we are in, in this bizarre six week long autumn stretch of dryness when we should have had a few tropical storms come through. Uh, from now on I am simply planting roses in the ground only in buried what I call water wise container gardens. Uh, this is not, this is simply a plugged up tree pot. Uh, a water wise container garden uh, is a, say a five gallon bucket with the drainage holes drilled on the sides of the pot three inches from the bottom. I then plant the rows in that and bury it to protect it from sunlight so the bucket can last for many years. The reason for the holes three inches from the bottom on the sides is it creates a damp zone uh, so that the rose uh, can always uh, send its younger roots down to the bottom. I use a um, three quarter inch paddle bit to drill the holes so that at some point in the future when the rose is root bound in the five gallon bucket they can exit uh, at that depth which is going to be what probably close to two feet below the surface and hopefully the roots can then uh, merge down into the damper cooler uh, soil uh, that tends to persist because of my use of mulch. Just wanted to share with folks that one of my very favorite roses in the world is really happy in Tampa right now and I wish I could somehow attach the smell to these images. Let's take one last close-up of one of my most favorite roses in the world, Duchesse de Brabant. Came out in 1857. Uh, has a couple names, Comtesse uh, de Lombarth, I think, I forget, uh, but most folks know it as Duchesse. This is also the one that Teddy Roosevelt uh, wore uh, blooms of in his lapel. It's a charming, charming plant and it loves mild climates, but oddly I had one survive annually in Denver. The Denver winters would slam it to the ground and it would come back up and remain dwarf, but it was such a treat uh, to have one of those. Uh, but the ones under glass in Denver were the ones that did the best by far. Have a good day, y'all. Bye-bye.